Hi, I'm David. I'm Swoop Patagonia's Product and Partnerships Manager. Having lived, travelled and worked in Patagonia for well over 10 years, I'm here to give you some help and advice to fully prepare for this amazing trip uh, of a lifetime down to Patagonia. So let me give you a little bit of insight about currency, budgeting and tipping when you're in the region. So the currency in Chile is the Chilean peso. The bills come in thousands, so it's a good idea to be well versed in the exchange rate um, of the Chilean peso to, to your local currency. All prices displayed in Chile are always going to be in Chilean pesos, even if sometimes that means it looks like the dollar sign, so these two are not to be confused. Pretty much everywhere in Chile will accept credit cards as well. So whilst it's advisable to get some cash for you for small spending, it's also uh, widely accepted that you can pay with credit card or debit card uh, at the same exchange rate as you'll be exchanging cash if you're getting currency. When thinking about budgeting, uh, the prices are similar to what you would expect in most places in, in Europe or the US. So going out for a nice meal is probably about $20 $25 uh, and you can of course uh, spend a little bit more if you want to go to a, a nicer restaurant and you can have more more of an economic uh, budget if you want. Over in Argentina when considering currency and budgeting there's a few things to be aware of. These are Argentine pesos. The largest bill is 1,000 Argentine pesos. Most stores and shops will display prices in pesos, although this will look like a dollar sign. So beware of that S that looks like a dollar is actually a peso. Taxis, restaurants, supermarkets are all priced in pesos. You should be familiar with the exchange rate at the time of travel. Be aware that there is an official rate of exchange, which if you're paying for things via credit card, you will be charged the official rate of exchange to your national currency. But it's very common in Argentina to use what's called the blue rate of exchange. So this is favorable for travelers where foreign currency gets a preferential rate of exchange. So when buying a meal in a restaurant or when changing money in a money exchange place, you would get a better rate of exchange. Sometimes the difference between the blue rate and the official rate of exchange can actually be twofold. So you get twice as much Argentine pesos for your dollar or your euro or your national currency. In Argentina, uh, meals and services are slightly cheaper than they will be in, in Chile. If, you're, if you need a, a rough idea of how much a meal will cost in Argentina, generally for about 15, 20 US dollars, you can have a really good meal in Argentina. Uh, of course, you can pay more um, and you can find cheaper establishments uh, for providing you with, with basic meals. It's a good idea as well to always travel with some Argentine pesos. Not everywhere will accept credit card and places like museums and entrance fees and taxis should always be paid for in Argentine pesos. When thinking about tipping for your trip in Patagonia, it's always a nice idea to consider tipping your drivers, your guides, anyone who's helped you had an excellent stay in Patagonia. Given the fluctuations of the currency in, in both countries, um, tips are generally expected in foreign currency, be those dollars, euros, although it's not unheard of to tip in local currency. So I hope this guidance on tipping currency and budgeting for your trip in Patagonia has given you a little bit of help. If you have any further questions, please do reach out to your customer experience coordinator, who will be only too happy to answer specific questions and provide any additional information that you may need. Have an excellent travel experience in Patagonia with Swoop.